Happy Tuesday, everybody. Like I said in the update video yesterday, we are back. Uh, I really wanted to do something like big and epic and like go somewhere to come back, but it was like a hurricane off the coast of Florida. So <laughs> it's like lightning and thundering and raining all over the place outside. So we're gonna do something in the house tonight because a uh, hurricane. So the other day, yesterday in the update video, I told you guys that I had a doctor story for you and here it is. So I went to the doctor. I don't go to the doctor very often. Uh, it's probably been uh, at least five years since I went to the doctor before. Uh, I went in and my throat was hurting a lot. Like it was hard for me to sleep because I was like, it was hard for me to swallow. So it kept me awake because of the pain of swallowing. So I went to the doctor and she's like, what seems to be the problem? I'm like, I have a sore throat. And she's like, okay. And she looks at my throat and I was like, it kind of feels like it's going into my ears too. She looks at my ears and she's like, eh. Your one ear is a little bit red. Your throat looks okay. She's like, I'm gonna prescribe you some antibiotics, but don't take them. And I'm like, what? She's like, I wouldn't take them. I would just probably, you're probably gonna be fine in a couple of days. I'm gonna prescribe them to you, but I wouldn't take them. I'm like, who, who is this doctor and why is she prescribing me stuff and telling me not to take it? Doesn't make any sense at all. So I took it. I'm taking antibiotics right now to try to like, fix my throat because as you can tell it's not there i'm like my throat is not doing so good right now uh, it hurts to swallow and uh yeah so hopefully these antibiotics will help i believe it's a, an infection because i could feel it in like my ears and in my throat she didn't necessarily say it was an infection she's like i don't know it could be anything so i uh yeah i'm on antibiotics hopefully i'll be better in a couple of days and yeah that's my story about my crazy doctor so i uh, <laughs> a little while back we did a Pop-Tart taste test where we tasted the weirdest flavor of Pop-Tarts that we could find and then we found out that there were weirder flavors out there. Thanks and... to you guys. I think you guys are the ones that told us about it and sent them to us. Right? So um, what had actually happened was we went to, to Target and we bought them and then we had the mail blog and then you guys sent them to us. Like multiple, multiple people sent them to us. I right. think we have like eight boxes. We have an excess of root beer Pop-Tarts and orange crush Pop-Tarts. So these are, this is gonna be like our taste test of soda flavored Pop-Tarts. And actually the funniest thing that I thought that I found since I was like, we have so many boxes of them. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go on. There's this thing here that's like poodle wisdom. And so I was like, oh cool. I wanna find like, there's, eight boxes there has to be at least uh, like one different poodle wisdom they're all the same no they're all the same <laughs> they say the early bird gets the worm but no one's worms for breakfast hashtag poodle wisdom i feel like this was a test for them and they didn't want to pay the guy for more than one slogan if it wasn't going to be like a good like slogan campaign so now that they know that it's wonderful I feel like the next set of weird flavors is gonna have so much poodle wisdom on it that you will not know what to do with it. Hashtag, oh brother. <laughs> Here's, okay. Wasn't that from Pop-Tarts? Yeah. Oh, but that's what brother. I don't understand is that was, maybe that was on the back here. So there's these other things too that make zero sense. What? Uh, so take for instance, this comic right here. Why is he trying to open the Pop-Tart with a bottle opener? It's a toaster pastry. You Isn't would, it? You would never use a bottle opener on a toaster pastry. Well, but didn't you see what the Pop-Tart said? He said, what'd you think would happen? <laughs> like the Pop-Tart gets it. He gets it. He also goes on Pop-Tart Tinder, apparently. Pretty crazy, huh? Like Pop-Tart Tinder. I, those look like the boats at uh, Lake Eola, downtown Orlando, Lake Eola. I feel like if we go to Lake Eola and ride a swan boat, we're gonna see a guy in a Pop-Tart suit taking a girl out on a date that he met on Tinder. Right? And then he's like, help, I've been mugged. I think these are just dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody's dad got paid probably not enough for these awesome dad jokes. Oh man. Should we try them now? Let's try it. Which one do you want to try first? I want to try the one that I think is going to be the worst first and then have the best one for last so I can wash down the bad flavor with the good flavor. So I'm going to try to read Jen's mind and I'm going to pick the you one already know what I love. that I I think she's going Don't to Don't you like know what I love? The worst. I was gonna give you orange first. Are you serious? You think that orange is gonna be better? I like orange more than root beer. I know, but this is like orange soda. Yeah, who loves orange soda? I know that, I do, I like, do, I do. 
All right, this is the root beer one. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh my God, I just smelled them. Do you, do you smell it? It smells it like smells root like beer. It smells like chocolate. It's not, yeah, I guess you're right. It smells more like chocolate when you get up close on it. But when I first Did you guys it, ever eat those um, bottle cap candies? Like some of you guys mailed us some of those bottle cap candies. Oh, Bean. Oh, Bean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wants Pop Tarts. And the bottle, the root beer bottle caps, if you know what that smells like, is exactly what these smell like plus chocolate. So here it is. It's got some weird speckles all over it. I think those are maybe like extra root beer flavor. Is root beer sarsaparilla? Like I don't you know, think so. you know how on the um on the Carousel of Progress and he's like, "Oh, we're drinking sarsaparilla now." Yeah. Is that root beer? I don't know. I don't hmm. think so. I feel like sarsaparilla to me has more of like a sarsaparilla than like root beer. What if they you know? just changed the name of sarsaparilla to root beer? I would be so same. disappointed in the fact that we went with root beer instead of sarsaparilla. <laughs> like, we should be drinking sarsaparillas. I think this is sarsaparilla. All right, well, let's have ourselves a sarsaparilla pop tart. <laughs> oh, weird. It tastes like a root beer candy. Doesn't it? It tastes like chocolate, but also mint. Do you taste that? Now I do. It has like a minty flavor. It has a spicy flavor, I think. I think that's the root. I don't taste that, I taste mint. Right? What's the root and root beer? What is the root and root? Is it sarsaparilla root? Is that a root? I think so. Do you remember that one time we did a podcast about bananas? Yeah. I kind of feel like we should do a podcast about root beers. I'm gonna have one more bite because I just got the corner and I feel like you don't get a lot of um, First of all, there's not a lot of filling in these. Like when I was a kid, I feel like you got more goo inside of your Pop-Tarts. Like the, it was like a taller cavity for flavor goo to be in. And like now every company is like, you know, trying to like save money and they're like, oh, we'll just give them like a quarter of the goo they used to get in the nineties. And I think that that's what's happening here. I can't believe how many times you just said goo. What is it? It's jam or jelly or something, right? <laughs> I feel like, is it sarsaparilla jelly? Sarsaparilla goo. Apparently That's we can... a good band name! Sarsaparilla we... goo. <laughs> Am I right? We can still get sarsaparilla in Taiwan. Hmm. In Sioux City. In Sioux City. Uh, I think that, we you know how people are like, oh, I'm spilling the tea. I think instead of drinking tea, they should eat a Pop-Tart. Wouldn't that be like more exciting? You know in those videos when they're like, oh, I got some tea to spill, and they'll like sip tea? I think, I think they should eat a Pop-Tart. I've never heard this phrase before in my life. Really? Tea to spill? Yeah. Is that like some like gossip to say? Yeah, it, I think it came from Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I think it was from the girl who's like, gone with the wind, fabulous. I oh. forget what her name is. She's the one that twirls all the time. I forget what, what is her name? She was like a beauty queen or something. I twirl all the time. But like, what, don't you think if it were like, right? Yeah. Maybe what it is is they want tea so that they can be like, like, oh no, here's what happened. Well, As opposed to, oh no, it will have them. I guess you're right. Eating food isn't really like conducive to a good like video. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Um, or did it come from the Kermit meme when he was like, that's none of my business. Have you ever heard of a Similax regili plant? No. Let's see what it looks like. That's where sarsaparilla comes from. <laughs> this video is supposed to be about Pop-Tarts, you guys. I know. Have any of you guys tried these Pop-Tarts, by the way? And did you like them? Because we tweeted about the watermelon Pop-Tart that we tried a few weeks back, and we were like, oh, we hated it. It was so gross. And somebody goes, I eat one every day for breakfast, <laughs> and I felt so bad. Let me ask you guys something. <laughs> Sorry if you like these. So I listened to a podcast about Disney history, and... I don't know if it's specific to the way that this guy talks or what, but he doesn't say breakfast. He says, what does he say? He says, like, it's, it's like a weird way of saying breakfast. It's like, first of all, who is this about? Please spill the tea. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? He's, I can't remember. No, cut that part out. What? No, I was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were funny. 
Now let's try the orange one. What do we think? It's Brefkus. Brefkus? Brefkus. Brefkus. Maybe Brefkus. that's maybe that's like a I feel like it's a fancy way of saying breakfast. Is it? Breakfast. Now, is this <laughs> supposed to taste like orange soda? Like orange crush? Orange Fanta? Is it supposed to taste like it's orange tang? crush? So it's crush right there. Okay, okay. Just trying to like get, you know, the flavor palette ready. All right, you ready with your nose? Do you remember on it just the internet? Like the wait, wait. When you said, when you said, are you ready? Is your no are you ready with your nose? On the internet, there was a picture. A girl drew like a person on her nose oh, and then made it, like... <laughs> made it like dance. And so that's literally when you were like, are you ready with your nose? I'm like, quick, draw a person on my nose. These don't smell good or like a Pop-Tart. They smell like cardboard. These are much more whimsical than the than the root beer ones. Yeah, lots of swirly loops. That's that, um, my other band name. <laughs> what was the first one? <laughs> it was... Sarsaparilla goo. Sarsaparilla goo. Um, I'm gonna dive right in. No, I'm gonna dive right in. I didn't dive in quick enough. This is not good. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> My God. I don't like this. Why would anybody eat this? This isn't orange flavored. It is orange flavored, but they added in the taste of carbonation. You know, you know what I mean? Like, like tangy. Yeah, like, you know how carbonation is like, like an effervescent? I can't put pop rocks in there. No, I don't think they would do. Why? You have to heat these in the microwave or whatever. Or the You're toaster. gonna eat pop or rocks, can't you? I'm gonna go ahead and say you probably should not put pop rocks in the microwave. Although, Maybe that should give you. I see like a new video trend starting here. Like, yeah. can you microwave it? Is that a thing already? Probably. Oh, did they already microwave pop rocks? Has anybody microwaved pop rocks? We have to know. Has anybody microwaved pop rocks and Coke? If we didn't just get a new microwave, I would totally do it. But this new microwave was, I just don't want to ruin it. I want to like take another bite, but like not really. So it tastes more like tangerine than orange because they tried to put the- Yeah, it's like sort of sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That was me like, like on the sweet meter, like, ooh, it's this way. It's like- Turn it up to a light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think it would be good if they hadn't added in that like weird carbonation flavor. You know, it kind of grew on me a little bit. Like, I wouldn't eat it again, but it's not the worst thing I've ever had. Like the watermelon one. What do you think was... <laughs> Stop. What do you think was worse? The orange crush or the sarsaparilla goo? Orange crush. But you didn't eat any more of the, your... That's yours. This well, is mine. But you didn't... Oh. Okay. There's not very much left. Well, that's none of my business. What is this pop <laughs> What do we think? So, in conclusion... We would say I would say that the root beer was better than the orange. Not by much. They were both very gross. But wh when do you think that this pop tart? Oh God! <laughs> when, <laughs> when do you think that this strange pop tart uh, flavoring will end? And what will it end with? Like, what's going to be like the ending? Like, okay, we've gone too far. Flavor. Taste your root beer again. I don't want to. I want you to rethink what you just said, that the root beer was better than the orange. After you taste it again. Okay. Root beer. <laughs> I mean, they're both so gross. Like, who, who, how many years does it take to come up with a new Pop-Tart flavor? Maybe it doesn't take long enough. Maybe that's why they're so gross. Maybe they're just like, eh, we'll do it. It's fine. Like, they're not, like, putting enough into it. Right. You know, like, they're not thinking, of, oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. But ha who, do you think the person that came up with the flavor and came up with the like chemical concoction for the flavor tasted it and was like, yeah, that's that tastes right. No, I don't. They're trolling us. I think they said, that tastes gross. Let's sell it. Let's Probably. just see <laughs> who's gonna buy how it. many people will right. buy it. Here's what happens. Hmm. People buy it. Right. And then they say, Oh, since we're already getting Pop-Tarts, we'll just get the flavor that we actually like. So it's forcing people to buy more Pop-Tarts. Is this a Pop-Tart conspiracy? It is. So, uh... <laughs> oh my god, I really think this is true though. I think this is so serious because what did we do? We bought these gross flavors. They were three for five, by the way. Three for five, so I think Target knows. So we got two gross flavors, one chocolate chip. Yeah. So there was this study Mm -hmm. On business. That's like what? Oh, you're you're creating a study. What's it on? Business. <laughs> no, it was 
What's that? Freakonomics. Cool. You know that? You know that book? No, I mean, I, I know the word. Is it a real word? I think it's a real. I don't know. Maybe it's not a book. I just heard something one time okay. that was saying that there was a study that said that there was a business that was selling online and in print. Okay. Right? Like a newspaper. Right. And for the online only, they sold it for $25. Okay. For the print, they sold it for $75. For online and print they sold it for seventy six dollars and more people bought the online and print even though it was way more than just the online because I, they felt like they were getting a deal because and then it, right because it's only a buck more then when they took away the option of having both they only bought the online version the cheap one yeah i don't get it I, I don't know that anybody could ever actually grasp the consumer's mind right like who i don't know what i'm thinking when i go to the store i'm just like oh this looks gross let's buy it is that is that like is that that's not right i think that's the way that the economy works now why why is everything a gimmick i don't know here's my thing is i have like this crazy voice now and i just want to be like i want to be the movie in a announcer. world in without pop tarts or pop tarts are gross <laughs> like this world that we're in right now <laughs> and there are swedish fish oreos we never got to try but those only available at kroger's i heard they're really gross yeah apparently they taste like cough syrup yeah somebody said that the flavor of those if you've tried them leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of them but like i almost don't even want to try them at first i was like oh man like i wish we could try them but we don't have kroger here but then i Here's thought mm, maybe we're better off in conclusion Hey, this uh, is our second conclusion. Uh, I, these Pop-Tarts are gross. I would have to agree with you. I have the weirdest flavor in my mouth right now. Yeah. I don't recommend either of these flavors if you guys are looking for a recommendation of these. I can't be the one to do that for you. But all in all, yeah, I don't I don't recommend these. Um, I don't actually even like Pop-Tarts, to be honest. So. Yeah. A lot of people were saying in the last time that we had to heat them up. Oh yeah, we I, didn't do that. I did try that with the bacon one. It was a little bit better. But I don't think these are gonna be good heated up. Like I, I have had enough. Who's ever drank hot soda? Do you do? Did you like it? Like right? Oh, I was like, what? Like it, because it, these are soda flavored. Right. Like if your soda's hot, you're like, oh. Or maybe you like hot soda. I don't know. I'm not a fan of hot soda. I feel like we just wrote a country song. What? Uh, maybe you like hot soda. Maybe you don't. I'm not a fan. This is why we are unsuccessful in life. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for watching our weird Pop-Tart taste test video where the Pop-Tarts taste like soda. Yeah. And everything's upsy downsies. <laughs> um, we had a lot of fun trying these. Thank you guys for sending them to us. We really appreciate it. And so <laughs> we're off and we will be back tomorrow. We so will, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>